Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wyoming Blessed with Tish. And if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when a video is uploaded or I go live. Y'all, today we have Taboki? 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 Something like that. You know, something like that. So that's what we have today. It's actually this one. Can you all see it? I got it at the Asian market. So apparently this is mild. I had a little taste of the sauce. Y'all, it wasn't mild to me, but it's mild is what they say. Y'all know what's in the house, and guess what? I was looking, and y'all can get this on Amazon. I'll put the link down below for you. Because that is amazing. We're just using some of these because I didn't want it to stain my good chopsticks. I was like, no, that's not happening. And I put a little bit of cheese on it. There's some enoki mushrooms. So that's enoki. N or E N O K I. Or K K I. Enoki mushrooms. And these are rice cakes. Whoops. See it? Do you see it? Hmm. Something off the chopstick. Whatever. And like I said, I put a little cheese on top. I probably won't. So I finally remembered because you know my memory is just great. This is the lobster ramen, y'all. That I have eaten that I've been telling you guys all about. It's really good. It does have a kick to it. So if you don't like spicy things, that's not for you. Let's give this a try. They're kind of tomatoey. I don't know. It's weird. Um, so today is Ghost Story Wednesday. But today's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like, it's freaky, but it's, I don't know if it's necessarily a ghost story or like a, there's some of the Yenoki mushrooms seen. Normally they're like more crisp than that. I think I put mine in too early. I'm still learning how to cook them, y'all. The crispy way is my favorite so far. This one's got a little bit of cheese on it. And it comes with a vegetable pack. That had like green onions and stuff. If y'all don't like chewy things, these aren't for you. Those are very good. I'm trying to think of something that reminds me of. Hmm. Kind of like a, um, oh, what are those? I'm trying to think. It's a candy. They're like fluffy and chewy. Kind of like a gummy bear, but fluffy and warm. I don't know how to describe it. So, like I said, today is Ghost Story Wednesday. So I've told you guys about the. Spirit or ghost, whatever you want to call them. That little. I was here when I was little. And he would throw books at me. 
at night in my room that's like right over there. So, like growing up, I hated my closet. I don't know why. I would tell my mom that like there was a strange feeling that would come from behind the tub because my old room sits right next to the bathroom. And my dad's one of those men that never finishes a job. So it was open, there was like an opening behind the tub in my closet. I don't tell my mom like, I don't like it in there. Something's behind there. I never did figure out what it was. Still haven't. We haven't had activity like I did when I was little. We still have a little bit here and there. Like when they were replacing the roof. But so anyways, one night I was in my room sleeping. Which of course is normal because that was my room. Um, I don't really know like how it happened you guys will probably hear me too in that how it happened or like why or anything but like so I was sleeping in my room my parents were asleep everybody was asleep my brother would have been downstairs because that's where his room was So, I finally fell asleep. The next thing I know, I, <clears throat> I wake up screaming bloody murder in front of the mirror in the bathroom. So, we have those shower doors that have the mirror in the middle. And I wake up and I'm standing in front of it just screaming. Don't hurt me, don't hurt, hurt me. I mean screaming bloody murder. I was probably about eight. And like, I shouldn't say that I woke up. Cause what happened is I was screaming in front of this mirror, screaming bloody murder, but I was still asleep. Or, I think. And my mom come in, and she was trying to wake me up. And she said I kept pointing at that mirror. And saying, he's coming, he's coming. But for me, of course, it started when I woke up. I woke up screaming in front of the mirror. Um, I could remember that, um, whatever realm I was in, I could see this really evil dark figure almost like taking over me, you know, almost kind of like a possession and coming through that mirror which is why I was screaming how I got to the mirror I don't know why that particular mirror I don't know 
But, so, I'm screaming. I finally, like, come out of it. And I'm still pointing at this mirror. And I'm like, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And my mom's like, who? Who's coming? And I'm like, you don't see him? You don't see him? And I remember I could feel whatever this was. I could feel it. And I'm telling her, like, so, I don't know why I'm covering my mouth, it's a muck pain. So, my mom takes the doors and closes them so that the mirror's not showing anymore. And I don't know what about it made that stop. Like, it just stopped. But, and you know, like I said, I don't know if it's really a ghost story or what it was. Something was trying to scare me or something, you know. But, so, I remember when she did that, it like kind of, it just stopped. But I felt really, really, really exhausted. Like, mentally, physically, just kind of melted into my mom. And she's like, okay, what was that? Why? You know, as a parent, that's something to, that doesn't happen every day. And we still haven't figured out, like, what it was. Or why it chose me. And it's freaky. I remember being so scared for so long to go look in front of that mirror. Because I was scared whatever it was that was there was coming. Now it doesn't bother me, of course. Excuse me. There is no way you're eating a whole pack of these. Mm -mm. Really heavy, yo. And they got a good kick to them. I would hate to see what spicy is. <laughs> because that says mild. And it's, I mean, it's not horrible. It's just making my nose kind of run a little bit. And it takes like four or five minutes to make this. That's it. So if y'all have an Asian market near you, or if you can even find them on um, Amazon, I'll have to look when I upload this video. Because if so, I'll link it down below as well. Because they taste really good. And they have really good flavor. But yeah, y'all. And I'll tell you, there was a point in time in Coda's childhood, he, he was probably about six, six or seven. Something similar happened to him. And it was freaky. It was so freaky. But you know, they say kids can see things that we can't. And I fully believe that. When my nephew was a baby, he used to like cool and call above him. Mmm. That's oh god, but they're filling. Like I said, there's no way you're finishing all that. And it's really let's see if it says says it's one pound. And like I said, there's no way.
that's not even like half a pack that I I was says you could put boiled eggs fish cake vegetables this is not something that you're gonna eat often that's for sure one serving per container somebody actually eats all that no way mm-mm not this girl ain't happening it's got too much sodium and carbohydrates for me i ain't eating all of it nope i think i ate probably about a third and i'm good with that y'all <laughs> anyways i hope y'all enjoyed the ghost story or whatever you want to call it leave a comment down below and let me know if any of y'all have ever experienced something like that or if any of y'all have paranormal experiences. If you would like me to tell a ghost story or a spirit story that you have, message me on Instagram and uh, we'll see what we can do. Or on Wyoming Blessed with Tish on Facebook. Um, and I am on TikTok and that is WB Tish. That one I don't allow people to message me because y'all, there's too many Karens and Bobs on TikTok. But you can always message me on Instagram at Wyoming Blessed with Tish or Facebook Wyoming Blessed with Tish. And y'all, let me tell you, like I said, I knew that that giveaway would be claimed and she claimed it within 16 minutes of that video coming out. So I knew it. And that will be sent out this coming week to her. So anyways, I thank you all for joining me. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your week and that you all stay warm and stay blessed. Bye, y'all. Never works on the first time. Ever.